good evening everyone so did you attend resume workshop yes sir yeah is it useful yes sir yeah very useful <laughs> cool I think almost 800 to 900 people attended for that workshop. Yeah. So in the last session, we discussed about what is a string, what is a string buffer, and what is a string builder. String, string buffer, string builder. These are the three classes available in java.lang package to store group of characters. Storing a group of characters is very common requirement in application development. So you can use any one of these three classes to store a group of characters. But which class, when we need to use, it depends upon our requirement. Whatever the data we are storing, that should not be modified in the future also. Then we will go for string class. String is immutable. If we want to change the data in the future, then we can go for buffer. But performance wise, it is a slow. It is a thread safe. If you want to store group of characters with a mutability and without a thread safe, then we can go for string builder class. With that, we completed our discussion on string and we experimented with methods of string, string buffer and string builder. All right. Now, today we are going to talk about one small concept that is command line arguments. What is that? Command line arguments. Command arguments are nothing but values. Arguments are nothing but values. Arguments means they are values. It is command line arguments. That means the values which we are going to pass from the command is called as command line arguments. Command line arguments are used to supply input to our program. So whenever I am running the program, I want to provide some input for my Java program. To provide the input for the Java program, we can use command line arguments. Now, if we see our Java program structure, class is available, class, class name. Inside the class name, we are writing public static void main string arguments. Public static void main string arguments. Our program is executing from main method. Whatever the code you want to write, that logic you have to write inside the main method. Whatever the logic you want to write, that logic you can write inside the main method only directly. When the logic is executing from this main method, can I call main method as entry point for my JVM execution? Yes or no? Yes. JVM entry point is main method only. In the class, we can write any number of methods. One class can contain 10 methods or 20 methods or 30 methods. It's up to you. How many methods you want, those many methods you can write in the class. But execution will start from main method only. JVM will know only about the main method. JVM will call the main method. JVM will execute the main method. So main method is called as entry point for our program execution. When the program is executing from the main method, we can provide some input for the main method. Can you see main method is taking string array. Main method is taking string array. That is a input it is expecting. Are we passing any input as of now? No, we are not passing any input as of now. We are just compiling our Java program like this. We are using Java C space demo dot Java and we are using Java space demo. This command we are using to compile the program. This command we are using to compile the program. This command we are using to run the program. Whenever you are running the program, 
you can pass some input like this hi hello hi hello here the hi is one argument hello is one argument i am passing two values where these two values will be stored these two values will be stored into ax what is ax here ax is a variable which is belongs to string array here not only ax you can keep x also no problem it is just a variable this variable type is a string array so for this string array you can supply some data while running the program the arguments which we are passing to our program from the command prompt those arguments are called as command line arguments are you guys getting my point so what is a command line argument what is a command line argument the arguments which we are passing as a input for main method of the program is called as command line argument how many arguments i can pass how many arguments i can pass any number any number of arguments i can pass those arguments are belongs to which data type those arguments are belongs to string data type can we try to access those arguments if you know array already we know what is array how array will store the data how array will store the data array will store the array will store the data based on indexes do you know how to access the data from array do you know how to access the data from array yes how to access the data from array how to access the data from array index basis index basis all right now let us see here i am going to write my main method public static void main method is available public static void main here you can keep three dots also or you can keep a curly brace also right is it mandatory to use variable name as only r can i use any name as a variable now yes i can use anything as a variable now this, for this program i am going to run java space class name is demo demo space hi can i say hi is one argument yes how to access that hi by using args of 0 by using args of 0 if i access args of 0 that means it is hi suppose for example if i run like this java demo hi hello so hi will be stored in the 0th index hello will be stored in the first index are you guys getting my point yes let me write one program for that open the notepad okay class cmd args that is nothing but command line arguments write here main method public static void main string arguments string arguments in this i want to access the command line arguments can you tell me how to access them system i want to access them i want to access them args of 0 args of 0 i'm going to store that into s1 string s1 is equal to args of 0 then i am going to take string s2 is equal to arc of 1 string s2 is equal to arc of 1 now i want to print system dot out dot print ln s1 plus s2 i want to print s1 plus s2 what is the purpose of a plus operator here plus is plus is changing the behavior dynamically when i use the plus for integers for numbers it is going to perform sum if i use the plus operator for the strings it is going to perform concatenation all right save this program save this program cmd arguments save in your workspace cmd args dot java go to command prompt compile the program and run this program okay here java c java c space cmd arcs dot java right java space c 
CMD asks, can I execute directly like this? Yes or no? Yes. What it is saying that? We are getting array index out of a bounds exception. Why? Our program is expecting one argument at the 0th index. That means I'm trying to access the value from the array. I'm trying to access the value from the array. But when I am running the program, am I passing that argument? No, that's why it is getting array index out of bounds exception. All right, Java, do I need to compile the program now? No, Java space CMD access space. I'm giving Ashok as one argument, IT as one argument. So here, these are the values I am passing as the input for my Java program. These are the values I am passing as the input for my Java program. So Java space class name space argument one space argument two. Run this program. Are we able to combine them? That means are we able to read those command line arguments? Yes or no? Yes, tell me. What is the purpose of command line arguments? What is the purpose of command line arguments? Command line arguments. Command line arguments are used to supply. Command line arcs are used to supply dynamic values. Are used to supply dynamic values as input for our program. I can pass some dynamic values as the input for our program command line values will be supplied as a input for main method i am passing the arguments nothing but who is receiving those arguments our main method is receiving those arguments cmd arcs will be received by cmd arcs will be received by main method by default cmd arcs are String type. What is the data type of the CMD argument? CMD asks, CMD asks, default type is string. CMD asks, default type is string. We can pass, we can pass one or two, or we can pass a 10 also. We can pass multiple CMD asks, they will be stored into one array. They will be stored into one array. Read this. Arguments nothing but values. Arguments means values. CMD arguments means the arguments which we are supplying as an input for our program. Main method will receive command line arguments. Command line args default data type is default data type is string. Can I change it, sir? Can I write a program like this? Can I change it? Why? Uh, default is a string. That is, I'm also telling that default is a string. Can we change that? That is my question. Uh, is that the main method, our method, or it is a predefined method? Predefined method. So JVM will understand the main method with the string type as command line arguments, not with the into type. Okay, try this. I change it that parameter to int java c cmd asks dot java. What is happening? Int cannot be converted to string. First it is failing at the compilation. So it is thinking that it is an integer, but where I am storing in the string int s1 int s2. Int S1, int S2. Okay. Save this program. CM, CLS, Java C, CMD asks dot Java. Compiled successfully. Compiled successfully. Java space CMD asks. What is happening? It is saying that main method not found in the class. Please define the main method like this only. Public static void main string array with the arguments. So can I change the data type of this? I cannot change that. Why? That is the 
default method that is a predefined method given by sun micro system jvm will use our method with the string data type so i cannot change that so that method should be written like this only public static void main string array arguments can i change the variable name yes variable name can be changed if i change the variable name it is a of 0 and a of 1 first argument will come that type should be what it is a string second argument is also string you can supply multiple values you can supply multiple values for example can i take can i take one more value also s3 is equal to a of 2 s3 is equal to a of 2 let's add it here also s3 let's add it here also a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 what is the a here what is the a here a is a command line argument which is the parameter of the main method a is a parameter of the main method now i want to store some data into this array so that i can use in my program can you tell me how can i do that java c space cmd arcs dot java i compiled my program java space cmd arcs if i don't pass index out of one because we are trying to access the index value right we need to pass it ashok space it space hyd i how many values i am passing three so how i am reading those three values a of zero a of one a of two those are three values i am storing into three variables those are three variables i am concatenating by using plus operator i am concatenating those three variables save that program execute are we able to read the values are we able to concatenate them yes so with this we understood what is command line argument command line arguments are used to supply the data for the main method java c cmd arcs dot java compilation java space cmd arcs space ashok it hyd are you guys clear with my point so we are able to we are able to create this program and we are able to read this program now can we perform sum of two numbers by using command line arguments can we perform sum of two numbers by using command line arguments huh. which white space this white space is used to separate the argument if you give another white space, if you, I mean, I mean to say Java space, CMD, Arc space, Ashok space, IT space, HYD. If you give the space between two words, if you give the space, it will consider that as a space. Space also will be considered as a string O. It will be considered as a string, right? Now, my requirement is write a Java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments write a java program write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using cmd arguments i don't want to hard code the data in the program i don't want to hard code the data in the program i want to supply the numbers as a command line arguments my program should perform sum of those two numbers and should give the output. Are you clear with my requirement? Yes. What is my requirement? What is my requirement? Perform sum of two numbers using CMD arguments. What is the meaning of CMD argument? Come on. What is the purpose of that? What is that? Huh. CMD arguments are used to take the input from the command prompt. So which method taking that input? Main method. What is the data type of that input? String array. How many arguments I can supply? Multiple arguments. 
how to read those arguments in the program based on the indexes based on the indexes we are going to read it write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using cmd arguments can you write that yeah, can you call office boy write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using cmd arguments pads ask them write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using cmd arguments take your notebooks take your notebooks online people who don't have a notebook get it today we have exam huh? notebook निकालो यार एग्जाम है बोला ना मैं मैं नो नो देख सकते हैं write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments online people please do that write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments we understood what is a command line argument command line arguments the arguments which we are supplying as a input for the main method they are called as command line arguments ha huh. completed ha huh, ha huh. good command line arguments okay write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments that means the numbers you need to take from the command line argument write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments వీళ్ళకి అవసరం లేదులే దే ఆల్రెడీ హ్యావ్ ద చైర్ నా హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రెంగ్ ఈజ్ ఆన్ లీవ్ టుడే వై పీపుల్ డిడ్ నాట్ జాయిన్ ఎగ్జామ్ అరే యార్ డరిగాయా క్యా write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments write a java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line arguments jaldi within 2 minutes you should complete sum of two numbers No, 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 you can sit, sit down. No, no need to show me, sit down. It's a very simple program. No need to check also. Katam, <laughs> good. Oh, yeah.
completed yes see here i'm going to take two arguments from cmd those arguments i want to perform sum so first first argument i'm going to take string s1 is equal to a of 0 string s1 is equal to a of 0 then next string s2 is equal to a of Two is equal to a of one, a of zero, and a of one. What is the data type of these variables now? String. These variables are belong to string data type. Can I sum string data type variable? No. If I sum string variables, it will be concatenated. If I want to sum, I need to convert them into integer. How to convert the string to integer? Integer and parse. Okay. Here we are going to do integer and parse it of S1. Integer and parse it of S1. Then I am going to get integer, integer x. Here already I have used here. I can't use the duplicate variable. So integer x is equal to, int x is equal to, integer dot parse command line arguments are stored in the string array that a of 0 nothing but string s1 a of 1 nothing but string s2 into x is equal to integer dot parse it of s1 that means first argument i am converting into into type then i need to convert the second argument also into into type into into y into y is equal to integer the parse it of s2. I am receiving string as the input for my program. My program converting them into integer. Then I am going to perform some of the integer. System dot out dot print x plus y. X plus y. Are you guys clear with my point? Yes. Now let me run this program. Let me run this program. Clear screen CLS Java C CMD apps dot Java compiled successfully. Java space CMD apps 20 space 30. I'm giving. I'm getting 50. Am I able to do that? Yes. Look at this program. Simple. Just you need to understand the conversion. Can you? Tell me what is this parse it now? Uh, parse it is a method. In which class that method available? Integer class. Integer dot parse. So it is a static method, non static method, static method. How can you understand that it is a static method? Because I'm using, I'm calling that method by using class name. Any method which is calling by the class name is a static method. If the method is calling by the object, then that is called as a non static method. Parsing is a static method or non static method. Parsing is a static method. In which class that method is available? Yeah. That method is available in the integer class. Integer dot parsing. Integer dot parsing. Perfect. For example, if I execute my program CMD arcs, I will execute 40 space 50. Do I need to compile again? Do I need to compile the program? No. I will just run the program with different values. So when I am running the program, I am passing the input for my main method. Execute. We are getting 90. Now I will pass 4 and 6. 4 and 6. 10. For example, 4, 6, 2. What the board? My program is reading 2. I am passing 3. What will happen? Nothing will happen. One extra argument I am passing, but am I reading that argument here? I am not reading. What the board? If I pass only 1, then it will exception. Why? My program trying to access two arguments. 
Am I creating the array with the size? No. If I create the array, that size is mandatory. But we are not creating the array. We are just using that. Who is creating the JVM? When the JVM will create? When our program is running. When we run the program, JVM is going to create. How much size JVM will keep to create the array? Based on the number of arguments you supply. Are you guys getting my point? Clear? Right. And, uh, Sorry? Optional. Then also you can pass it. In the ID. When I explain the ID, I will show you. So you are directly running the program, right? You need to right click on the program, run as configuration. In that, you need to pass the ID. I will show you in the ID. So after this, third chapter, we will work on ID only. Yeah. Are you guys clear with this? Yes. So now tell me what is command line argument and why we need it. What is the command line argument and why we need it? Uh, command line arguments are used to read the dynamic value from the command prompt. When we are executing the program from the command prompt, then we can read the dynamic value. So, so performing some of two numbers using command line arguments. Performing some of two numbers by using command line arguments. So here Java C PMD asks that Java and we are going for Java space PMD as 10 plus two values I am supplying. Okay. What is the purpose of this total CMD arguments? It is printing the length of the array. How many arguments we are passing to that method? That length with that length array will be created. Yeah. Please read these points. CMD argument. What is the meaning of arguments? Argument means arguments means value. Arguments means value. Command line arcs are used to supply dynamic values as input for our program. If you want to supply any data for the program as an input, then we can go for command line arguments. CMD arguments will be received by main method. Main method is every point for JVM execution. That main method is going to receive our CMD argument. What is the data type of the CMD argument? CMD asks the default data type is string. Can we pass multiple values? Yes or no? We can pass multiple CMD arcs. They will be stored into one array. What is that array? That is a string array. That is a string array. Now, here we can do like this. We can do like this. Command line argument. Program with command line argument. Program with command line argument. A of 0, A of 1, A of 2. Three values I am reading. And for three values, I am concatenating by using plus. Value to type is string by default. When I use the plus, concatenation is going to happen. Perfect. Perfect. Java C, CMD asks that Java. Java space, CMD asks space and passing three values. Three values separate. Now, write here Java program to perform sum of two numbers using command line argument. The values I'm reading are string type. For string type, I cannot perform the sum. For that, I'm converting the string type into integer. How to convert the string to integer? I'm using integer dot parsing. Integer dot parsing of S1. Integer X. Integer dot parse it of S2. Integer Y. System dot out dot print element X plus Y. I am performing the sum. For this program, I am passing two values. Can I pass three values also? But is there any use? Why there is no use? Why there is no use? Because we are not accessing that. We are not accessing that. So whether you pass the third argument, and you don't pass the third argument, there is no change in our output. There is no effect for our program. If you pass it third argument, 
or if you don't pass it also nothing will change why because we are not accessing that value the third argument will be stored in the second index 0 1 2 second index value i am not accessing that's why it is there is no difference with the third argument are you clear with my point perfect now i am giving you 5 minutes of time all of you open the notes in the mobile go through the strings notes now i am prepared i am prepared eight program from the strings completely not the program now you will have to write those program on your paper no only on strings now eight program only on the strings yeah all of you open the notes you can go through the notes read the notes notes it are available in the website Huh? One one. No, notes you want to see here. Huh? Okay. Huh? We will discuss that. Yeah, close your mobile. Some of you keep it in your pocket. I will show here only. I just want you to go through the methods and strings. Now, when you are doing the string methods, you have to solve those problems. Logical programs, eight logical programs on the strings. Can you read it? Keep silent. All of you make some mistakes with your strings. Some friend make some mistakes. You should not comment. There should be some gap. All of you. Till last, you can go. And then people get your books and pen. All of you. For the last, adjust your strings. Some friend. बोला Can you read the question from there? You see, you have to read the question. Why do rotate that side? Can you follow? You have to start that from there. Can you see that? Yeah. Side, you put that side. There should be some gap. So I can understand. You have to get your book. You have a book. Yeah. Just want to read that. Yeah. And yes. How many people can you switch and work together? Yeah. Take a pen and paper. Go. How many people should switch and work together? Everyone, I'm seeing only three to four people switch on the camera. Everybody should switch on the camera. If you don't switch on, you will be removed from the class. Switch on your camera. Everybody, fast, fast. Everybody should switch on the camera. Yeah, just five minutes time. I'm giving to remind the answers on the screen. All questions on the screen for you. It will check your IQ. How logically you are good. How much string you understood. How what methods you remember in the string. Based on the string only, there are eight programs are available. Just go to the string once. Directly. Huh? Yeah. Directly, directly go. Ah. Yeah. Just revise this. So I will give an overview. String, 
Right. You don't have options. Yeah. You don't have options. Yes. Then you realize if you like that now, am I going to get any benefit? No. If you don't like, am I going to do anything? No. It is for your purpose. You have to get that opportunity. It is for you. After me, who tell me? But yeah. <laughs> Objects are special objects in the Java because storing the data in the strings is a very common requirement in the project. And the string objects are special, maybe a project with special memory to handle the strings that is due to constant code. Every string object is created in the constant code. Duplicate content is not allowed. If you try to create a second object with duplicate content, one object will be referred to the point. All right. Next one. Whenever you create a two, how many objects will be created? Only one object will be created. F1 and S2 will point to the same object. When I compare the address, address will be same. Double equals operator will compare the address. Dot equals method will compare the content. Remember that. There is a program on that method. Right. If we compare strings, if you create the strings by using new operator, if you create in the SPP as well as the team also. Right. Now, how many objects will be created? We have six that already. When I give you first line, one object. When I execute second line, only one object. When I execute third line, total two objects. When I execute fourth line, three objects. Fifth line, five objects. Six line, seven objects will be created. All right. Ah, important part K. String class methods. See that. First one. What is the first letter? Carrot. What is the purpose of carrot? If you use it to get the character based on the given index. Carrot method is used to get the character based on the index. Length method. What is the purpose of length method? Left method you use it to get the size of the string. That means the number of characters available in the string we can get by using length method. What is the purpose of concat method? Concat method is used to join two strings. S1, S2. S1 dot concat of S2. Alright. Equals method. What is the purpose of equals method? Equals method is used to compare the, compare the content of the string. Double equals operator will compare the address. Equals method will compare the content. Okay. In strings, we understood that. Replace method. What is the purpose of replace? Replace some characters with some new characters in the string. For the new proper, replace method. Two uppercase and two lower case. What is the purpose of two uppercase to uppercase? To convert the string to uppercase. So we use it to uppercase. I mean, I want to make every character in the uppercase character. If I want to convert every character to lower character, to lower case. What is the purpose of index of? What is the purpose of index of? It is used to do. It is used to get the first character and the other character. What is the purpose of last index of? It is used to get the last character and the other character. Whatever is given, whatever is given character not available, if you have character not available, then we are going to get the minus one. What is the purpose of the substring? What is the purpose of the substring? The substring is used to get the part of the string. It will take start index and end index. Start index is exclusive, end index is exclusive. What is the purpose of flip method? 
Is my voice clear now? Is your is my voice clear now? Online people? Yes? Now fine. Okay. We are just reading the methods. You can see the screen now. Just read it. Value of. What is the purpose of value of? It is used to convert any type of value into string type. Any type of value into string type. What is the purpose of starts with? What is the purpose of starts with? To check whether my string is starting with the given characters or not. What is the purpose of ends with? To check my given string is ending with particular character or not. What is the purpose of trim method? It is used to remove starting and ending spaces of the string. What is the purpose of intent method? It is used to access the objects from string constant pool, SCP. What is the purpose of two string? What is the purpose of two string? It is used to convert the object into string format. Any object, remember that method. Any object, if you want to convert into string format, then we can go for two string method. What is the purpose of two char array? What is the purpose of two char array? It is used to convert. It is used to convert the string into character array. It is used to convert the string into character array. Uh, value of, I mean, two string a object. Ke liye. Value of only primitive type values can be converted into string type with the value of. Tomorrow I am going to create employee class, product class. Those classes also can be converted to string format. Right. Now, string buffer. What is the purpose of string buffer? It is a predefined class available in java.lang package. It is used to store group of characters. String buffer is a mutable object. We can modify the content of the buffer. What are the methods we have seen in the buffer? Append, append method, reverse method is available in the buffer. Then we have seen string builder. What is the purpose of string builder? String builder is a predefined class available in the lang package. String builder introduced in which version? It introduced in 1.5 version. String builder objects are mutable or immutable? String builder objects are mutable. Content can be modified. String builder is a thread safe or not thread safe? Not thread safe. Multiple threads can access at a time. Multiple threads can access at a time. Yes. What is the difference between string buffer and builder? String is a immutable object introduced in the JDK 1.0. Buffer is a mutable object, but it is thread safe. It is available from JDK 1.0 onwards. Then string builder. String builder is a mutable plus not thread safe introduced in 1.5 version. Then we discussed about command line arguments. What is the meaning of command line arguments? Arguments means values. Arguments are used to supply dynamic values as input for our program. CMD arguments will be received by main method. CMD asks default data type is a string. We can pass multiple CMD arguments. They will be stored into one array. Program with CMD arguments. Every argument will be considered as a string data type. Suppose I want to perform sum of two numbers then I can convert that string into integer. How I am converting the string to integer? Integer dot parse int method. Are you clear with the strings? Abhi pata chalega. <laughs> How much you are clear? Abhi pata chalega. Good guys. Ready? Just relax for two minutes. I'm stopping this video record. I will start the new record for the exam.